looking back on it now, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel as though it was that difficult. I think probably I didn't feel like that at, at the time. Um, it's a very simple, elegant book, and I suppose the the main technical challenge was that we knew we'd have to turn the volume up a little bit for it to be a, a movie. Um, the other thing is that the two male protagonists, one of them comes in very late, and um, uh, and it's really uh, tricky to try and get him to present himself as a viable alternative for. Colm does it incredibly in the book. You, you reach your point, this point in the book, and you think, oh, no, come on, you're not going to, you're not going to persuade me that this guy is for real. And he does, and I had to do that too. You show it in a city like London, and I don't know what percentage of people come from somewhere else, but it's, you know, it's enormous. And, um, you know, we have so many uh, Irish people in, in London, we have so many Australians, so many New Zealanders, but also, you know, particularly at the moment, there are literally millions of people who have had to abandon their home and their way of life. And, and I think by getting inside this one girl's head, and that's all the film is about, is this one girl, then you start to imagine what it must be like repeated millions of times over. The thing that's always a relief to go back to with prose is that you have as much room as you want. If you want to write 500 pages, you write 500 pages. Um, if you want a scene to go on for 20 pages, then it can. The thing with screenplay always is the economy, that you cannot have a 20-page scene. You can't have a five-page scene. A five-page scene is enormous, so you have to pare back, pare back. But um, the thing that, that uh, keeps me coming back is getting to work with other people. The maddening thing about film is that you can't learn anything from the previous project because every single project is different. You know, you're, you're working with a different director, different cast, usually different producers, although I've worked with these... One of, one of these is my wife, so I've worked with her a bit before. Um, so you cannot recreate the experience of the previous movie on the next one. Um, I think that the only thing that I've learned, uh, being adapted and I guess adapting, is, uh, is that you have to choose the right person and you have to trust them and then let them get on with it. That's all I can say. John's a kind of dream director for a writer because he feels a little bit like an editor with a book. That, um, the only notes he has are when he says, I think what you were trying to do here is this, and maybe if you tried that instead, your uh, meaning or, or, or your effect would become clearer for us. And, and you think, oh yes, of course, he's completely right. He's a theatre director, he serves writing yeah, and so you know of course so as a screenplay writer so uh, that's what you want um, and then Sersha is just absolutely incredible I mean um, you, you see the whole story played out in her face and it's so kind of subtle and elegant and she's exactly the right age now to do it